I'm standing here in a Suyu surrounded by cottages and just behind me you can see the fire pushing up gray plumes of smoke. From here you can see it billowing up into the sky. Strong winds in tinder dry forests have made easy conditions for this fire to grow and spread. Fire crews are attacking the fire from the air with air tankers and helicopters dropping water on hot spots. The fire sparked on Monday afternoon and forced the evacuation of hundreds of homes. Come on, baby. Come on. Rod and Geraldine Foley say they had little time to pack up their belongings. The guy came walking up the hill and says, you gotta go now. They loaded eight dogs, two cats and two parrots into their RV and left. We're very fortunate that we had the motor home. Otherwise, you know, I mean like two o'clock in the morning, where are you gonna go? The fire is burning in BC's South Okanagan region between the towns of Oliver and Asuyus. The region is a tourism hotspot. People from all over the province are here for their summer vacations. This family from Edmonton had only arrived at their campground a few days earlier when they got the notice to leave. A friend of ours came and knocked on my door there and said, it's time to go, so we started packing up. Now they're camped on the side of the road, wondering if they'll be able to resume their vacation. Well, it's not too good because, uh, you know, you only have so many holidays and then uh, you gotta, you're wasting it just sitting here on, a, on the side of the street on a, on a grassy spot here. The fire is also threatening several wineries in the region, including the Burrowing Owl Winery. We were so excited to see everybody again uh, after the months of the pandemic. So, um, yeah, I mean, it does, it feels like a bit of a blow, but hopefully it won't last very long and we'll be, uh, we'll be back doing our wine tastings and dinners and having guests stay with us soon. The winery was hosting two dozen guests when it was ordered to evacuate. We were very fortunate we were able to relocate them up to a hotel in Penticton. So we were, we were fortunate that when we had to wake them up at midnight that we had somewhere for them to go. Evacuees here have been struggling to find places to stay. Emergency officials warn hotel rooms in the region are scarce and they're asking people to stay with friends or relatives if they can. The forecast for the region is more hot and dry weather with little chance of rain. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Usuyus, British Columbia.